All right, guys, we're back. Another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. Got a new set of armor on. I got the Banuk Chieftain armor because I did a bunch of the ch the cut stuff or the the Frozen Wild stuff up in the cut. It's called, I guess. I don't know. But we're continuing on with the story. Gonna head on up. Go and find the cult members and destroy their whatevers. I don't fully know, remember. I got a few new weapons. They're pretty dope. It's an ice one and a lightning one. Which is pretty interesting. Can't fire? What now? Don't mind. You wait, that's what. Take you a seat wait. at the campfire and rest. What night falls, we'll talk. Well, they still have a fire to keep me company. How nice of you to finally drop by. <laughs> Our purpose this night is to crash the focus network. Yeah, tell me the part I don't know. How? The focus network. For starters, you'll need to infiltrate the Eclipse's main base. What? That's right. Fortunately for you, I brought you around to the back way. It's right through that crevice. Once you reach the base, you'll see the objective. A derelict tall neck that's been extensively modified. Climb the tall neck. Grafted into the top of its disk, you'll find a module of sorts. Destroy that, and the focus network will crash. All right. So you were part of the Eclipse? I've never been part of anything. I serve my own interests always. But... It is the case that I assisted the Eclipse. <laughs> Just cover your face, why don't you? Become. It was a mistake that I'm doing what I can to correct. What sort of assistance did you give them? Head through that crevice, Aloy. You have more important things to do than ask questions. Jeez. <laughs> She's a grumpy one. Not like he was any better. Oh. I didn't realize I was on top of her for a second. At least that one doesn't shoot very nicely. No, I'm out of ammo. I'm gonna die because I wanted to show off the new weapons. Ow. Of course it's trying. Okay. Let's make more bolts for this guy. I'll show this guy off now when I can actually take the time to take the shot. Come on, get up. Okay. There we go. They're heading back. Three hundred damage. And thirty damage, what? I do not mind this weapon. There we go. Let's 
Let's keep on going. Um, how do I keep on going? Oh. Well. How do I get up? There we go. I expect this series not to last too much longer at the same time. I have no idea how much longer because I haven't done much of the story. I've done like almost every side quest though. I need to get back into Mother's Heart though because I missed a power cell. What is this for? Explosions in the distance. Pay that no mind. Doesn't concern you. Well, aren't you great? Miss me, sucker. Okay, I need to switch my weapon. Continue on. Getting close now. Head for that bridge. Thanks, Silence, or whatever your name is. The tall neck's just over this ridge. You'll see it when you reach the top. Now be ready to act fast. Seriously. You need to get in and get it get done up. before they raise the trash. Alarm. Get up. Definitely just gonna kill them. What do you think you're doing making noise? Okay, and I just jumped off. Well, gotta redo that. Gotta redo that one. Talking like a fucking baby. Contact! 
Contact. I can't see your head. We're not true if you don't fight. How dare they hurt me? You will Ow. Fuck. Dick. I missed. Jesus. Is there fighting up ahead? No. It's a binding operation. So long as you're quick, it won't affect you. Oh good, another secret. The ground here looks turned up. Drag marks. Do I go and down? The gate. the barred. Or do I go the over there? We'll have to find another way. There's a few things. It's bigger than the others. Find the tall neck, Aloy. There's no time to fuck around. Too bad, silence. Go freaky frack yourself, buddy. What is this place? A distraction. There are several data points. Yeah, there are quite a few. Never does the sun show pity when sleep refuses to come. I think of our wedding night. How you welcomed me to the marital bed. How oh, after, when you fell asleep, I lay there watching your delicate face. This armor. There's only one man big enough to wear this. I'm not even really looking at it. Eh? Who's big enough? I didn't this hear. Is a Not exactly fancy. What did you expect of a fanatic? His only extravagance is his brutality. So you know it. Just enough to want to stop him. Which way do I go? I see it. It's a kind of structure. Climb it. The sooner this is done, the better. I don't like this. It feels wrong. Yeah, this island is seems wrong. pretty Just mean. Get to the module and destroy it. There's nothing there. <laughs> I see the oh, module. there. It wasn't there a second ago. Quick. This, this is Hades. Aloy, hey, this is not the time. Open the module's casing, now. Aloy, do as I say or all is lost. Oh no. Ow. Is the tall knight gonna be corrupted? Entity miscalculated. Entity cannot destroy me. I am beyond its reach. Maybe you are. But this isn't! Destroy the entity. Alright. Um. Ah, oh, great. Good job, Aloy. Keep running. Why? I can deal with them. Yeah, you think? Oh no, I fell. 
my jump didn't work. And the great words of Peanut Butter Gamer, I pressed it to jump. If you guys guess or understand that, that's amazing. If not, I understand. <laughs> Moving. It was a channel I barely watched on YouTube. <laughs> But I liked this. I liked his videos. They weren't bad. Brave trail. He did like the PB and Jeff videos with his friend Jeff. Yeah, you think? And I mean, they you weren't bad, but then randomly they stopped. I think they were even in the. Ah, I tried to jump on it. What the heck? Just need to take my time. I think they were even in the middle of a series when they ended, for some reason. I don't know. I can't remember fully. I don't know if they're doing videos anymore. No way. <clears throat> yeah, you think? What do you think I'm doing? Taking a nap? Are you kidding me? Jump, bitch. Stupid Aloy. Almost out of it. Uh, what? Don't what? Fight. Ow. Fuck, didn't even see him. Come Don't on. fight. Got what the fuck was that? Almost there. Oh, I could have done a strike from above on him. Yeah, I know. Later, fuckers. Keep running. I'm going. Shut up. Whoop. Whoopity whoop. That's the way out. Goodbye. <laughs> Music stops. Oh. Shit. Yeah, you didn't expect them to let you down nicely, did you? I didn't expect them to blow up the whole place, though. So. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Why, hello. Rough going, but you survived. You knew Hades was there, and you sent me to him? I won't deny I risked your life, but it was the only way. Now, with the focus network down, we can both get what we want. Access to the secrets of Zero Dawn. I'm past trusting in secrets. Good. That means you're wising up. Trust is for fools. It shifts and crumbles like sand. A poor foundation for any partnership. But mutual self-interest. Now that is a solid bedrock upon which you and I might build a new science of understanding. We both need answers, Aloy. And thanks to you, we're on the verge of grasping them. It's unfold. We'll speak again. You miserable... All right. If I could toss this focus and be rid of you, so long as I would. Oh no, I'm in a bunch of stalkers. I'm in, in a bunch of stalkers. I'm in a nest of stalkers. Let's just go for it. Wait, where am I going? Yeah, um, let's do that. Oh, my kitty looks so cute, stretched out on the bed trying to sleep. But I keep pissing her off, because I'm petting her. <laughs> I like her.
you know, thinking of it now, well, and I've thought of this a few times, when I play Subnautica, it'd be awesome to have, like, multiplayer, or even some of the mods that are out there, that'd be awesome. Sunfall. The Mad King drowned Summer Palace. A bulwark of Karja might against the Howling Forbidden West. Thanks for the history lesson. But they have no idea what lies beneath. I'm not going to say what I thought I was going to, or what I thought about, I can slide upstairs. Hi there. What the heck is this? Unlimited fast travel to discover, yes please. Oh, I need 10 fatty meat. Um, looks like I'm saving up for the golden fast travel pack. I didn't know that was a thing. Today's bounties head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. I'll take the shards. Oh, I paused it. I was spooked out for a second. Eyes coming through sunfall. I'm all for it. By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, Radiant Edaman, the really one hot. true Sun King, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. You and I need to chat, Green Huntress. The Green Tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you don't care for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Next oh, the Kestrels. Ah, the use they want us to see this boy. Oh, yes. What kind of armor is this? They're going to get stabbed in the back. It's a short drop from there. Over there. Let's go. No, drop, drop, you dipshit. No, drop, you idiot. Why is it always such an idiot? The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. You mean this thing? I say you've been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If 
If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? You'll tolerate what I give you, Silas. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Let's go. I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And, voila, for her, all the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. I understand. Too bad now. Everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. <laughs> we? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Yeah, we should get going. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Will they? Please do. take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A small room. Please proceed into viewing room one for an important message. Regarding the purpose of your visit. I don't have very many of those data logs. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. CD on one data intact. Initiating playback. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. Here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. 
But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of zero dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris. That's actually pretty cool. That's really cool. It's a cool theory. And I mean, like, definitely has been thought of. That doesn't make sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow. Somehow Elizabeth saved us. Somehow. I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. They got in through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Tomb? If it moves, kill it. So I killed it. I didn't even see him. It's just that dark. Holy shit. Hi there. We're too close to the tribal primitive stop us now. The data points, what did they contain? I don't know. news and it's all true the pharaoh plague is devouring the biosphere life itself will cease to exist but does that have to be the end what if we could give life a future what if we could build a kind of seed from which on a dead planet life could blossom anew this is the aim the hope of project zero dawn to create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. 
Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings spawned at cradle facilities around the globe will partake of Apollo, the vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't Amazing. stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. That's really cool. If we had something like that in real life, that'd be fucking awesome. of knowledge, what happened to that? And Hephaestus, taking over Sire. I was confused as well. Alert. Medical wing inaccessible. Um... Why is this the thing? That was weird. Intruder! Get her! Where? Don't die now. Thanks, uh, silence, whatever your name is. Okay, guys, calm down. Ow, my. I hit myself. I'm almost dead. That was close. Power's down. Is there another route? I've done this before. Just need my focus. No room. 
Okay, gotta go this way. Here we go. Another one of these. Need to find the right configuration. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Oh, I'm missing. I see. Well, what does this one require? Yes, we'll do. I don't see anything. <laughs> Um... Oh, the ladder. I'm an idiot. Found one. Looks intact. Yay. That's it, right? Oh, it's upside down. I think I'm an idiot. This one's up. And this one just switched. There we go. Now to see what lies beyond it. Yes, to see what lies beyond it. Why, hi there. Eclipse, they're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? <sighs> so much for avoiding contact. Yeah, gonna have to. Well, actually, I'm gonna end this episode here. Hope you guys don't hate me for the cliffhanger. But I hope you guys liked it. If you do, leave a like. If you did want to see more, consider subscribing. Because I'll definitely be recording more. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.